Welcome back to another episode of Light Beer, Dark Money. I'm Sean Noble. And I'm Chris Clements. And this will be our last episode of the 2022. Yeah, what a year. What a year. Goodness gracious. Yeah. I'm kind of glad the political season is oh, never I'm, over, but at least yeah, in remission a in bit. In remission a little bit. It, uh, I mean, it, look, lots of stuff that unexpected some people expected, other people didn't. I mean, well, well our predictions, none of them really came true. Very, very few. Yeah. Very few. Or, but it's behind us. 2022 yes. is behind us. Now is the time to look forward. We have lots of opportunities. Hopefully, the economy will come back. Inflation will go down. I mean, I don't <laughs> Those know. are all great I'm hopes. Optimistic. So, so here's part of why I'm optimistic. Uh, because Democrats lost control of the House. So they, they, they haven't really gotten the memo, though, yet. Well, you realize that. Yeah, They're, look, they spent the, 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 look, the omnibus, that's a problem, whatever. I think they should do some stuff to do a rescission bill, but, and we've talked about that, but I think from a economic environment and a business outlook perspective, if you look at how Washington can screw things up, well, they can't do much damage now because anything the House passes is not going to get through the Senate, not going to be signed by the president. Anything the president wants is not going to get through the House. So well, the only things that will happen will be truly bipartisan. And that's probably a good thing. Uh, a Washington that is stuck at a standstill is not bad for the country. No, frankly. gridlock is a good thing. Gridlock is good generally because that means they're not screwing up our lives well it means most likely we won't see any tax increases this next no tax increases years. no um, crazy out of control spending spend, beyond what they just did well i mean yeah and 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 hopefully we'll see some sanity coming out of the white house mm. i do i do think on the immigration side you're going to see a lot of fireworks um i think my orcus is going to get Brought up to Congress, I wouldn't be surprised if they, you know, if he resigns. He's going to resign within within the first resign. couple of months. It, 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 it's untenable. Yeah, what's happening? Um, there we'll will just, not we'll be, just, but but there will not be any immigration reform because the hard right will not allow anything. They're not going to allow anything for the Dreamers, and then the hard left won't allow anything that resembles, you know border enforcement so right. it's just it's a standstill standstill again. it's been that way for 20 years uh, right our own kirsten cinema made a statement on that the other day you know she's trying to get people down here to the border to see what's really going on and she's trying to be a leader on that which we commended her for that that's great but you know it's you know i don't think you're gonna see anybody give at all and meanwhile it's a mess i mean i guess thank goodness for the supreme court and 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 mm -hmm. staying title 42 so that the administration at least has something in its its quiver to to you know hold back the flood of of migrants. But, yeah, but unless unless they lead on the issue, I don't think anything's going to happen. Yeah. So I'm not going to make any real predictions for 2023 because all my predictions for 2022 pretty much were wrong. But I will say, well, I think we that, just kind of did. Mayorkas is going to be gone. Okay. I, mean, that, well, I think that's true. Yeah. All right. So that's one prediction. Yeah. That's a. That's a pretty easy. <laughs> that's an easy one. We'll just go. We'll, you know. We'll... Um, I think. Well, now you got me thinking about predictions. <laughs> well, now I'm thinking about whether Biden decides to go ahead and run. I think he probably will. Um, here's a prediction. Okay. And I'm gonna it's probably gonna I, regret this. I still this. believe he doesn't make it to next summer. Okay. I will predict that Biden will announce that he's running. Who knows what happens after that? Okay. But he's going to announce he's running. Great. I also am predicting that Donald Trump is going to drop out before the first primary. Ooh. And, and what is the basis of that fair prediction? I, I think he's going to see his support continue to plummet. He's got legal issues that well, continue to weigh on him. And I don't think he, I think if he feels like he's going to lose, he's again. not going to do it. Well, I think, I don't think he's really running. Well, he's, that I, doesn't I mean, look like it right now. I mean, it just doesn't. It. I I think it's a ploy, in in, in many ways, because of all the different legal entanglements he mm -hmm. has himself in, 
And it just doesn't seem like to be, it doesn't seem a serious candidacy at this point. And, and so I, I, I would agree with your, your prediction. I uh, maybe earlier than that. And then when does, when does Biden drop out of the race when they can't find the drugs to get him <laughs> going to get him in front of the, uh, well, the teleprompter. Maybe or it's, maybe just, it's after it's evident that Trump's not going to run and the Democrats realize that Biden will get demolished by any Republican that's not Trump. Well, yeah, completely. I, I, I would agree so, with that. I don't even think that's a prediction. I just think that's pretty much reality. Come on, give me a little bit. <laughs> well, a bit. I, I just watch what's happening. It's just, it's just sad. And we've talked about it on the show for kind of ad nauseum. I mean, we have a president who's, who's drifting into, you know, Alzheimer's of all things or dementia mm -hmm. or whatever, whatever it is. And, and he's propped up and put up and drugged up and put out there and then shuffled away. And it's, it's, it's a sad thing to watch. And it's, and it's impacting us in every, on every level, economically, uh, the social fabric, internationally, and, uh, and nobody wants to do anything about it. Well, yeah. So looking back, I would say that 2022, so here's, here's the challenge for us and our listeners is do an assessment of what happened in 2022 in your own life. If you had a goals or resolutions, how did that look? Um, and my, I, I was just doing this this morning. I was doing a review of my 2022 resolutions and, and goals and you know, not too bad. Yeah. Not too bad. Uh, a few things I need to definitely do better. But what was interesting for me is that I was, I looked at what my goals for 2022 were and I feel like things are pretty much where they should be. And so I'm going to continue. I mean, the, the big overarching stuff continues, will continue into 2023. I mean, I'm going to tweak some things around the edges, but, you know, I feel very blessed. Yeah, that's great. That's good. I have a something called a roadmap that I go back and I look at and tweak, and it's this interactive spreadsheet, and, you know, based on faith and family, and then, you know, basically <laughs> faith and even the, you know, professional stuff and mm -hmm. and um there's 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 some larger goals that i think i have for myself next year and, and and for this podcast and for other things that i'm working on yeah yeah good well maybe it, uh those assessments are important maybe early next year we'll do a quick quick rundown of some things we're willing to share absolutely and uh, give some ideas to to all of you out there but one as we wrap up 2022 i just want to say thank you for listening obviously we wouldn't exist but for your time so we we really do appreciate uh the time that you put in to listen to us love your feedback well and, and also I want, I want to thank the great staff here absolutely especially robin and the crew at uh dave pratt star worldwide networks uh, we, we wouldn't be here without them. Are you auditioning to be a voiceover talent? I am not <laughs> going to be a voiceover talent, though my voice is pretty you know, radio-friendly right nothing now. Nothing beats Rob's voice. No, nothing beats Rob's nothing voice. Beats that Rob's is, voice. That is true. You know, maybe he'll cut a, us a new uh, intro this next year. I think... I we'll, think do, well, we'll do a couple new things. Yeah, we, I think we need to uh, agree on something. I think we just need to dump it. Okay. I have no problem with that. <laughs> Just a little uh, too. I, I, yeah. I don't. Because I don't you, always want to agree. No, well, I don't. I don't like agreeing all the time. I'm, I'm, I can be very disagreeable. Some. Some conversation is is. You know, not yes. always going to be uh, agreeable. No. We what what we need to. The I think my goal, in the overall, tenor, of American, political subculture is we don't have to agree let's just be nice <laughs> be nice be kind we can totally disagree oh, just completely disagree but we can be nice about it that that is a tall order in, i know in our body politic it and is. i don't always and i do and i don't i don't necessarily always disagree that. so yeah i go i, Maybe I go back to the great resolution. you know be more I, kind 
um, the great words of Patrick Swayze in, in the movie Roadhouse. Be nice until it's time not to be nice. <laughs> you go, yeah. well, well, I know that. I'll let you know. I'll let you know. <laughs> All right. Well, if there's a message that I've got for you as we wrap up this year, it's be kind. Be kind. Be kind. I love th- someone. You know, we just we we had a guest on that we were, we we're going to be released on Monday, and one impact, one word that impacted me with that is be present. Yeah. You know, all the distractions, all the all the stuff that gets thrown at all of us every single day. It, it taxes us, and and we're less present in our in our marriages and with our kids and our business, whatever it might be. Be present. You know, be present. Every, anything you're doing, be present and and do it to the fullest. So be present, yeah. and while you're present, be kind. Be kind. All right. All right. We're Very good. good. Thanks, everybody. Have God a happy bless New you. Year. Happy New Year. See you.